update you on the weather conditions right now. I also want to let you know that the Oregon Zoo is closed and uh, probably the only animals enjoying this weather are the polar bears that are out there. Polar bears and the penguins. The that, penguins, they like it too. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah uh, for those of us who are maybe just stepping foot outside, uh, less than ideal. Try yeah. to stay in the warm spot as this Queen 6 weather alert still remains in place. A lot of us preparing for the snowflakes as we've already started to pick up on just a few over the downtown Portland area as those winds continue to whip throughout the valley location. Of the Columbia River Gorge. Now, as far as our temperatures go right now, 17 degrees, snowflakes actively falling. Now, this is a very refined and dry snow, so it's going to just kind of be floating around in the air as the winds are out of the east at about 38 miles per hour out at PDX. Here's just the snapshot of some of the gusts we've seen. 46 mile per hour gusts for Portland Fremont Bridge, upwards of 50 miles per hour, and those are cold winds, making the temperature feel closer to oh, a balmy five below zero right now for the city. Troutdale slightly warmer at about one degree below zero as it's even cold out along the coast back into the teens. Now we are in for the long call as far as those sub freezing temperatures go about 86 straight hours of temperatures sitting below 32 degrees, not expecting to climb out of the deep freeze until about Tuesday at 3 a.m. So our those snow and ice uh, is going to continue to fall, tracking its way from the south to the north. Later this afternoon, seeing much of the same, but it really starts to ramp up where blizzard conditions are a possibility. Later this evening, the moisture starts to pull its way out. We are left with the bone chilling temperatures. A live look at our satellite and radar here. These darker blues, a good band of snow that's tracking its way from the south to the north. And where you see the purple or the pink, that's where it is actively either sleeting or seeing a bit of a freezing rain. Uh, regardless, it's going to be making some icy conditions south of about Wilsonville or so. So the National Weather Service keeps that winter storm warning in effect all the way through 10 o'clock tonight. Three to eight inches of snow, a very real possibility. Icing for the Central Coast, Southern Willamette Valley, and our State 5 likely going to be on the slick side. Just about the same for I-84 as a blizzard. All the way through midnight tonight, we could see some wind gusts upwards of about 70 miles per hour out that way. And also seeing the snow accumulation not only pile up, but 70 mile per hour winds. Low visibility about to uh, one fourth of a mile or less is a possibility with blizzard conditions as those winds still remain strong out of the east. Upwards of 50 miles per hour through this afternoon for Portland. And that's just going to make it feel closer to about zero and we're already experiencing that right now. What you feel now is going to take us through the evening hours. We don't start to see improvements until we get to past the midnight hour late tonight. So if you have exposed skin to those conditions, it's only going to take about 30 minutes or so with a temperature of about nine below zero and even the five below zero doesn't take long at all. Here's our future cast seeing this whole system track its way from the south to the north. Again, the pink that's going to be the icy conditions, the blue, the snowfall, and it's all depending on where these bands particular uh, tonight at about eight o'clock where it sets up that could see the most snowfall. I anticipate parts of Clark County, southwest Washington picking up on the biggest snow accumulation as then we dry things out late tonight into Sunday, keeping the cloud coverage and those cold temperatures. So here's a look at some of our snowfall fall forecast models. I think we can go ahead and rule out the GFS with the almost 11 inches of snow. Again, anywhere from about three to eight is a possibility. The icing will start to build up through the central and southern Willamette Valley and along the coastline. Portland, you should steer clear of the freezing rain, but it's the wind chill that will remain dangerous as Salem doesn't necessarily see as strong of winds because they're removed from the Columbia River Gorge, but nonetheless very icy and dangerous conditions that could potentially pose a bit of a threat to power outages across the area. Now the Arctic blast keeping that coin six weather alert in place for today. Any precip that we see fall today is not expecting to go anywhere anytime soon. Taking us all the way through Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday, Tuesday. Just as we start to climb closer to the freezing mark, we see another round of potential rain snow mix for the city. And then we get back up to where we should be for this time of year in the mid 40s with rain showers taking us through the end of the week. Ken. All right, thank you very much. Well, if you don't need to travel today, uh, 